This is part of the TOEFL exam, uh, the what they call the error correction, which mostly is about uh, the grammar. It is well to study this uh, to help you uh, in your grammar because, as it points out here, it is important when you're producing material on the IBIT TOEFL test that your English should be grammatically correct. Okay, you should be sure, in this particular case we're talking about, you should be sure how to use subject-verb agreement, parallel structure, comparatives and superlatives, verb forms, verb use, passive nouns, pronouns, adjectives, and adverbs and articles correctly. Now this first part is on the subject verb agreement and so we will go through and I will uh, go through this and, and explain what it uh, has to say and what is the correct use as a subject verb agreement. Okay, subject verb agreement is simple if the sentence is singular then the verb that accompanies it must be singular. If the subject is plural, then the verb that accompanies it must be also plural. And here we have an example that a student takes many exams. Student is the subject uh, here and the uh, verb is singular, the student takes many exams, and uh, often in English we uh, uh, do not include the pronoun, we leave it out, but if you insert the pronoun in this, you would say the student, he takes many exams. And that's one good way of uh, checking whether it is the plural or the uh, singular verb that you're using. The second one, the students take many exams. Students is plural, so you take the uh, plural verb, take, okay? So, in this incidence, it is take, okay? The students, they take many exams. We go down here to Appendix C1, and this is all taken from the uh, Longman TOEFL uh, Preparation uh, Manual. Okay, Make verbs agree after prepositional phrase. Now, this often uh, causes people to have problems when a, a prepositional phrase comes between the subject and the verb. I'll move this up. Okay, here we have an example. The key to the doors are in the drawer. Now, as it points out, the asterisk here indicates this is not correct. In this particular case, we have key, which is singular, but the preposition of all uh, is plural, to the doors. Okay. R is not correct. It should be the key to the doors is in the drawer because is is the singular form of the verb and key is singular. In the second example, we have the keys in the door. To, uh, the keys to the door is in the drawer. Well, in this case, the keys is plural and this is a singular verb uh, it should be plural because keys is plural. It should be the keys to the door are in the drawer. Again, to the door is a prepositional phrase. It does not determine the verb, even though it comes just before it. So we need to uh, get the verb agreement between the subject and the verb. 
Here's a, a small chart. Uh, the subject, verb, agree with prepositional phrases, and it shows you here's the subject, the prepositional phrase, and the verb. Now, this Lorero says that this determines the tense of the verb. Okay? When a prepositional phrase comes between the subject and the verb, be sure that the verb agrees with the subject. Now, to give us some practice in this, we're going to take a look at this, and uh, we're going to go through this. Uh, what I would recommend is for you to stop the recording. Uh, in other words, uh, hit the little button over there, the two, two bars, and stop it. And uh, go through and copy down the numbers uh, and uh, put, uh, well, if you can uh, copy the sentence, that uh, would be better. But, you know, you can do this uh, on... Uh, on a separate piece of paper. Now, here is giving you some examples. I also want you to say if the sentence is correct or not. Okay? With the forest rangers in the eastern section of the park, through the true prepositional phrase, have spotted a bear. Well, that would be correct since rangers is plural and the uh, verb is plural. So, as they've indicated here, rangers is underlined is the subject. We have uh, uh, little bars around the prepositional phrases and then double uh, line under the uh, verb. The second one, the flowers in the plume tree, plum tree, in the garden has started to bloom. Okay, is that correct or incorrect? Well, you would use the I here. This is not correct because flowers is plural. Even though the prepositional phrase here is, uh, is singular and this prepositional phrase is singular, it's the subject that determines the verb, and it should be the flowers have started to bloom. Now I'll go through a few more of these, just, just uh, so you've got the feel of what this is all about. We're, here we have the sentence, the cost of the book for all of these classes are quite high. Okay, first thing you do is to, which is the subject. The subject is cost. You would put a line under that. Then the verb is this verb here. We have R quite high. Uh, and we would say that is not correct. And since cost is singular, this should be plural, and it should be is. The prepositional phrases, then, are of all his classes, okay? Of the book is a prepositional phrase, for all his classes is a prepositional phrase. The next one, the reports prepared by the staff for the manager contained many graphs and charts for the subject. In other words, what is it talking about when you're talking about subject? What is it talking about prepared? Well, prepared is, is uh, actually a verb, okay. The subject needs to be a noun, and it is reports. The reports, okay, prepared is, is an adjective here showing uh, what type of reports they are, and by the staff is a prepositional phrase, which is singular, by the staff, staff is singular, for the manager, okay, so for the manager, the manager is singular, contain many graphs 
and charts. Well, the, the verb is contained. Okay, so, uh, so this would be, the report is plural, so it should be plural. Okay. Reports prepared by the staff or the manager contain, and if you substitute the pronoun, you would say in there, they contain. So it is a plural form of the verb, and it agrees with report, so this sentence is correct, you would put a C. Okay, I will allow you to see this, you can stop this, and I will move down to the rest of the questions so that you can uh, see what the other ones are. I think now you, you see them all. Okay. So this ends this part, the uh, subject-verb agreement, uh, which sends this containing uh, prepositional phrases. This is a continuation of uh, subject-verb agreement. Uh, we are working here in this area in C2, make verbs agree with the expressions after expressions of quantity. Okay? Uh, a particular agreement problem occurs when a subject is an expression, uh, is an expression of quantity, such as all, most, or some, followed by the preposition of. In this situation, the subject, all, most, or some, can be singular or plural depending on what follows the preposition of. Okay, we have here the uh, expression of quantity, all. We have this phrasal, the prepositional phrase, of the book. And it says, of the book, the book is the subject of the sentence. And the verb here, interesting, was interesting. The verb is was, and since a book is singular, the verb is singular. We have another example, again, using all. And then we have of the books, okay, prepositional phrase. And we have books is the subject. Uh, here, and uh, the verb is plural, were interesting, because the subject is plural. All of the information was interesting. Again, information is the subject which determines uh, the uh, tense of the verb, and here we have was a singular and the information is singular, okay? Here we have a chart giving us the illustration of that. Here we have the, uh, the uh, expression of quantity, almost, some, half, part. Then we have the subject of the, in this particular prepositional phrase, so the object of this is the subject of this, uh, of the sentence. And as I said, the little arrow points over and it says D for verb, which means this determines this. Okay? So when an expression of quantity is the subject, the verb agrees with the object. Okay, now we go down to some of the examples. Here it says each of the following sentences has a point of expression as a subject. Okay, underline the subjects one and the verbs twice. Put parentheses around the object that the verb agrees with. Then indicate if the sentence is correct. Or incorrect. Okay, all is the subject. We have then uh, the 
prepositional phrase and experience is the object of, in that expression of the subject, all of his experience, okay? So the object here of experience determines the tense of the verb, and we have has contributed, double line under that, to indicate that verb to his present success. It, they have it marked as correct, which it is. Experience is singular, has contributed, has, uh, is a singular verb. Next we have most of the dishes, most being the subject, uh, dishes, the object, and it determines what the tense of the verb is, served as a banquet was quite spicy. Well, since the object here is dishes of the subject, most of the dishes served as a banquet is plural, there should be a plural. As I point out here, most of the dishes of the banquet were quite spicy. We continue with the exercise in this case, and now we're in uncharted territory. Uh, we are going to now work on this. We'll start with number three. Some of the details of the plan requires clarification. Is that correct or not? Well, let's take a look at it. Some, the subject, right? And the phrase here, details is the object which determines the tense of the verb. And the verb here, another phrasal verb, but the verb is requires. Okay, this details is plural, but requires is singular, and that would be incorrect. We would put in there the, some of the plans, uh, some of the details of the plan require clarification, and again, putting the preposition in there with the verb, you might say some of the details of the plan, they require clarification. That preposition will help you uh, clarify your uh, the verb tense. Here we have the subject half, and then we have the object of that which is material, which is singular, needs to be completed this week. So essentially we have half of the material need to be completed this week. Uh, this is determined uh, to be singular, which it is, and the material is singular. Okay, so the material needs to be completed this week. It is correct. Number four, half of the material, oh, we did that. Number five, all of the homes on this block of town was flooded during the storm. All being the subject, homes being the object, homes, and on this block, and was flooded, was, is the verb, was flooded is a verbal phrase here, uh, and you say the home was flooded, that would be incorrect because homes is plural and the verb here is singular. So the answer should be all of the homes in this block of town they were flooded during the storm. I put the preposition 
in there to illustrate that it's plural, we would say, you know, all of the homes on this block of town were flooded during the storm. Now we go down to number six. Number six, most of the children in the class was improved, has improved their reading score tremendously. So getting back, most of the children in the class has improved their reading score tremendously, most being the subject. Uh, children being the object, and it determines the verb, and children is plural, and the verb has the singular, so we need to make that into a plural. This is incorrect, and most of the children in the class uh, have improved their reading scores. And if you put the preposition in there, most of the children in the class, they have improved their reading score tremendously. Going on to the next one, some, of course, is the quantity expression, which is the subject, and of the money. Money is the object which determines the verb. Money is a singular. And the verb has is singular also. So this sentence is correct. Some of the money from the inheritance it has, has, to be used to pay taxes. Now let's go on down to number eight. But half of the eggs in the carton is broken. Uh, half is the quantity expression, sorry my friend, uh, of, the, of the eggs. Eggs is plural, so the verb needs to be plural. And here it's singular, we're broken. For her health to improve, all of the medicine has to be taken on schedule. Then we come back to the expression of quantity. All of the medicine, medicine is the object that which determines the tense of the verb, uh, and the verb is has, and since medicine is singular, has is a singular verb, and that is correct. It has to be taken on schedule. And finally, number 10, at the conference, most of the time allocated for speeches was actually devoted to discussion. Okay, so most is the expression Quantity of the time. Time is the object which determines the verb. And in this case, uh, was is the verb. Most of the time was actually devoted to discussion. Was is singular. Time is singular, so that is correct.